Retired Navy Rear Admiral Donnell Barrett is launching a mentoring and leadership book to encourage readers to become agents of change. She joins us now to discuss her book, Rock the Boat, Embrace Change, Encourage Innovation, and Be a Successful Leader. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks very much for having me on. It's a real honor. I, I'm not sure how to refer to you uh, now. Your, your title is quite lengthy, as is your resume. <laughs> You know what? You can just do what my brothers used to do and call me Donnell. Donnell is just fine. <laughs> well, Donnell, Thank God for brothers, we'll, right? <laughs> we'll keep it between us, ladies. I understand that problem entirely. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. but thank you so much for joining us. And I was saying earlier, you don't get to have your title in the Navy as a rear admiral without knowing how to rock the boat. So this was a perfect title choice for you. Can you tell us a little bit about what led you to write this? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, over the years in the Navy, I spent 30 years in the Navy, best job ever, you know, loved it. Um, but you you do a lot of mentoring of folks and, on the way up and you pass along the good lessons you learn from others and sometimes the bad things you've seen other people do that you will never repeat, right? And so um, I have found increasingly the more senior I got when you talk to groups and things about le men leadership and mentoring topics that they all kind of ask the same questions and they just want practical, usable, actionable advice, right? You know, they want to know about how do I do work-life balance? You know, how do I deal with a boss who's a jerk? How do I, you know, hold people accountable? Those kind of things. And so um, I said to my husband, I said, I'm just going to write these things down in a, in a little book and make it sort of like a conversation between you and your mentor. It's really meant to be sort of a light read. You're not going to burn any, kill any brain cells <laughs> reading it, but it gives practical, actionable advice that someone could actually do something with just as if you'd, like I said, had a cup of coffee with your mentor and we're talking about a problem. And and I try to illustrate uh, some of the concepts with sea stories or, or what we call in the Navy, you know, just anecdotes that, that transcend any industry. These are concepts that are not unique to the Navy or the military. They transcend, you find them even in this commercial world and, and they're just helpful for everyone, hopefully. Well, yeah, and I mean, you would know, I was reading your, you know, your last position in, in the Navy, you led uh, a group that really was 700,000 strong in a global network, and, and that's a, you know, that's a big, in addition to, to getting to that, I mean, it's just a huge responsibility at the end of the day when you think about what's under your belt and your leadership, and I, I imagine the weight is, is probably a lot, but you say in your book to really focus on in any situation, finding the three positives. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Um, you need to train your brain and my mind to look for the positive things because we can kind of get down at work. Sometimes there's institutional resistance or inertia, which come in spades in the Pentagon. That's a soul crushing place to work sometimes <laughs> when you want to get things done really fast. Right. Um, but you, you, so you look for three positive things out of any bad situation that you can kind of move forward and focus on those because that changes your whole mindset. And you know, if I can just give an example from the book of a little anecdote on that, um, you know, uh, when my daughter was about 15, she was having a slumber party at the house and she had about four girls over and they were kind of getting bored by the middle of the, the evening and they were playing on their phones. And I said, hey, well, let's uh, let's watch some home movies. Right. And she first was like, oh, mom, you know, I don't want to do that. And so then I'm like, no, 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 it'll be fun. I said, we can watch the naked baby video. And she was like, oh, gosh. And so she, what teenager doesn't want to watch that with their friends, right? <laughs> so anyway, she finally acquiesced. We brought out some videos. And the Naked Baby videos, we were on a, a cruise. And she was, we were getting ready to go to the pool. And we were in our room. And we were getting her dressed. And she was running around the room, uh, naked as a jaybird. You know how kids love to do. She's about two years old. And screaming joyous peals of laughter as we tried to fake catch her, right? Well, I was the videographer in that situation. And so, um, you know, we're watching the video with her and her friends. And she turns to me and she says, Mom you're naked. And I said, what? I go, no, 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 you're naked. She goes, mom, look in the mirror. And sure enough, this video from like 15 years ago, there I am in the mirror wearing nothing but the video camera. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Right. And I was like cringeworthy because I was thinking to myself, okay, how many copies of this video did we pass to friends and family? And, and I thought, you know, for the next 15 years, my mother-in-law gave me underwear and nightgowns for Christmas. I'm like, <laughs> holy cow, she probably thinks I don't own either of those two stitches of clothes. But my three positives out of that were, you know, at first I was like, holy cow, you know, if this had been today's age, I would have been a TikTok video, naked admiral you know, on the internet, you know. Thank God it was the days before TikTok, right? Um, you know, I actually had some great abs in that video. I could actually see them. They were documented at some point in time. Um, but more importantly, I had a video of my daughter's joyous peals of laughter that I can listen to for the rest of my life. And they all laugh at me now because of this snafu. But 
my point is out of any cringeworthy situation, you can always find some three positive things that you can pull out of that, focus on that and move further, whether it's work or life. Oh, what a great story. I could just imagine the, the, the realization washing over you. <laughs> But oh my God. but it's so she true, just, and it is and it is like you said, training our mind to do that in those in those situations. So, Danelle, where can people find your book? Yeah, so Rock Mode is on Amazon. Uh, you can pre-order the audio book; will be out in June. And uh, just hope folks enjoy it and maybe get a little lesson or three positive of their own out of it. So, thanks very much for the opportunity to highlight it. Well, thank you for writing this, and thank you more than anything for your for your long dedicated service to this country and uh, for for breaking barriers for women. Quite the accomplishment. So, thank you. Oh, thanks. It was a pri privilege to serve. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful day, Danelle. You too. Bye. -bye. All right, retired Rear Admiral Janelle Barrett. You can go to JanelleBarrett.com for more information as well.